So my name is uh, Brandon Eisen and I'm a poker player here in Las Vegas and I'm 33. I started experiencing uh, thinning or balding like mid-20s. I'm 33 now, so about eight, nine years ago, a friend of mine kind of looked at me sideways and was like, are you losing your hair? And I, um, at that point, I had not known that I was losing my hair and I was like, no, no. And then, uh, you know, I looked in the mirror and I, you know, started feeling, I was like, oh, there's a little bit. And then um, from there, like some hair would, uh, you know, would come off and, it just kept progressing from there. Uh, when I started losing my hair, it, I, I felt like it didn't really affect me that much at first. Um, and then when it started progressing a little bit, um, I started to notice it having a bigger impact. And I went to the doctor, the dermatologist, and he prescribed um, some medication. Uh, I forget the name now. And uh, he said you can use some Rogaine too. But when I looked at like the potential side effects for the medication, it was kind of scary. And he said also that it wouldn't grow back the hair, it would just keep what you got. And so I just weighed the options or um, I just decided not to take the, the medication because I didn't want to deal with like the potential side effects and I thought, you know, it's best to just uh, accept it. So after that, after I um, decided to not take the medication, I, I tried a little bit of Rogaine here and there, but like it never stuck as a routine. It was just too, um, I don't know, cumbersome. It was too annoying for me to do as a routine, so I pretty much wouldn't do that. Yeah, so after I um, learned about SMP through my friend Kylie, um, I contacted Joe on Instagram, uh, and he was very responsive, very quick to respond to my, um, my DM. And we set up a consultation, and I came in, and after I when meeting Joe, I was uh, very pleasantly surprised that he was very honest and uh, authentic and genuine. And we hit it off right from the very beginning. Um, you know, I brought up my concerns about how I saw some um, some bad results online and um, and uh, and how uh, his procedure would be different than than those ones that cause the bad outcomes. So at first when I was thinking of getting the, the S&P done, it sounded like crazy, you know, like bizarre that, it, it, that you could go get this procedure done and it, all of a sudden you would have a, um, you know, a hairline again. And so it was kind of interesting to, to think about it at the time. I was like, man, is this really gonna work? And you know, I you look through all his old videos and you go on YouTube and you know, I'll go down the S&P rabbit hole looking at all different videos and stuff like that. During the session at first, you know, you're wondering how, how it's going to feel, how um, is it going to be painful. You know, I have no tattoos, so I was like, you know, was, I don't know how even a tattoo feels. So I was like, maybe, maybe someone with tattoos, would, it would be the same. But for me, my first time dealing with anything like that. And I would say it's it's not so bad, the pain. It's kind of like little bee stings. Like, uh, um, and um, you know, it makes it really easy because I'm laying back on the chair and um, Joe is like very easy to talk to and we hit it off. Uh, he's a poker player too. So uh, we just talked a lot about poker and about philosophy and you know, the minutes and the hours just kind of flew by and um, that was how the first session went. So after you're finished with um, the S&P, all the three sessions, and uh, you healed nicely, then you'll start to feel very like good inside, especially when you look in the mirror and you put on um, clothes, especially when you take pictures. I think that's the biggest thing. I remember before, you know, that's when you really notice how severe your um, your balding or your thinning is is uh, happening. Because I think, um, you know, we have ideas about how we look and stuff, but then, you know, when you take a picture or a group picture, then you really know, like, oh, damn, like, my, uh, my thinning is worse than I thought. And uh, same thing afterwards when you get SMP and you see pictures, um, that's, that's really great, you know? Like, when, like I said, when my mom came and it was me, my girl, and my mom, we went to karaoke and we took a picture of us three and, like, man, the, the picture just looks so amazing with my hairline and, and looks really full, you know? And so, like, it's, uh, I think the, the pictures really um, show the difference. So the advice I'd give to anybody uh, considering SMP is to do your research, you know, go, go down the SMP rabbit hole. 
you know, on the internet and on YouTube and, you know, you'll see um, what a good result looks like and what like a poor result looks like and you'll see all the different, um, you know, all the different results and that'll help you to form an opinion about what, you know, what, uh, how it will look on, on your head and, and what to expect, you know. So after I got all three sessions done and, um, you know, it was looking fresh and I, and I, and I would go out, um, I'm just like so happy that I got the procedure done with Joe because, you know, you, 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 take, the, you take a chance a little bit, you roll the dice a little bit when you, um, when you choose an artist, you know, you never know for sure how it's going to turn out or how, um, you know, if the testimonies before were totally accurate or what's going on behind the scenes. So there's always a little bit of a risk and um, I'm just very happy I took the risk with Joe because it came out so good, it's so realistic, so subtle looking. 